The Texas Longhorns take their win streak and recruiting momentum back home as Kansas comes to town, and so do the recruits. We're going to talk today about a couple recruits that Texas could flip. Also, a major development just now out of, on Inside Texas. So Texas fans, before I bring Jerry Hamilton on, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. We are growing like crazy. I love it. You guys love recruiting. We love talking Texas. So let's bring on Jerry Hamilton from Inside Texas. Jerry, Tampa Bay Edge, Solomon Williams, has canceled his last two visits. He's had some family things going on, but he wasn't able to make it to Texas. Then he wasn't able to make it to Oregon, but there was reports that he'll be there this weekend. What's the latest on Solomon Williams and his upcoming visit to Texas? Is it going to happen? Yeah, it's happening. Uh, just broke that news on Inside Texas. Solomon Williams texted me about, I don't know, about 9.30 East Coast time on Thursday morning and said, yeah, I'm going to make my official visit to Texas this weekend. Why that's big for Texas, Josh, is that means his mom's going to make the visit with him. The only way he's going to officially visit is if his mom makes a trip with him. When he visited in late July, it was him and his high school head coach. His mom did not make that trip. So when he comes back to Texas, which is this weekend, it was going to be with his mom so she could see uh, and meet the Texas staff and see all the things he likes about the University of Texas. I think the College of Pharmacy can end up being a big deal here for Texas. So do you think he makes it back out to Oregon, or who do you think is Texas's top competition as it stands right now? You know, I think Alabama has been in a good spot. They don't yeah. really have a college of pharmacy, which is interesting. That's what he wants to major in. Um, I think Texas A&M is in it. They're trying to get him out, I believe, for the Bama game officially. I don't know if he set that up. Oregon was trying to get him out for the Colorado game. Obviously, you mentioned he couldn't make it out there. He likes Oregon a lot. He's always liked Oregon a lot. I think right now – uh, my feel being at Tampa Carrollwood Day High School last week was that Texas was in as good a position as anybody. And I think Alabama, Oregon, and A&M, I mean, he has Clemson listed as his fifth. I, I, he's not going there. It's going to be one of those four. Um, but it wouldn't totally shock me if it came down to Texas and Texas A&M because of his major. All right. Well, we'll catch back up with you on Monday and see what Solomon Williams has to say after this official visit. Now I want to talk about two of these potential flips that Texas is trying to go after. Let's start with the 2024 class, and that's DeAndre Carter. He'll be on campus this weekend for his official visit to Texas, and this is significant because he committed to Auburn at the end of the summer, and he is a priority for Auburn. He was the first offensive lineman committed in that class and the top one as well, but this weekend he's going to visit Texas and Jerry. He's also teammates with Brandon Baker, number one offensive tackle who committed to Texas on Sunday. How do you see DeAndre Carter's visit going this weekend? And do you think when it's over, Texas will have a chance to flip him? Yeah, I, I think Texas has a chance, else he wouldn't be making the visit, right? I, I think Auburn's probably feeling a little nervous on this because he just committed September 3rd. And, yeah. and he never, he has not backed off that official visit date to Texas this week for Kansas. He actually tweeted out la late last night after he talked with Steve Sarkeesian and Kyle Flood that, yeah, I'm making this official visit to Texas this weekend. Both of his parents are making the trip as well. So if you're Auburn, you feel a little uncomfortable with this one, right? Because that's pretty quick after you uh, commit to make an official visit to the school that was probably their biggest competition. And like you say, teammate with Brandon Baker, DeAndre Carter visited Texas in January for an elite junior day. And he's actually the one that went back and said, hey, man, Texas was a good visit. That's a good place. And that's what he told Brandon Baker and some of his teammates, some younger kids at modern day. I think the interesting thing for Texas and Auburn in this one is, does he see a path to the field quicker at Auburn, Josh, mm -hmm. versus Texas? If you're a guard, you have to have a little bit of patience at Texas right now. They have some really good young players that are starting. None of those guys are graduating. Obviously, that's what Texas is going to have to overcome this weekend. All right. Speaking of five of flips let's take a look at a five-star potential flip and that's decorian moore right there in the state of texas now he goes to duncanville high school sounds familiar right yeah he's teammates with colin simmons the five-star edge in the 24 class that is committed to texas now decorian moore he's in the 25 class and he he got out of state he committed to lsu but this weekend he's back in austin jerry how solid is moore's commitment to lsu right now yeah, I would say it is a soft commitment. And I know LSU fans hate me for that on on, on Bingle, uh, Bingle Tiger board and everything. But look, this is a second Texas home game in a row he's been to. 
there's a decent chance he's in the Cotton Bowl to watch Texas against Oklahoma next weekend. Right. There's a lot of Dallas kids will be there. Uh, obviously, this this is recruitment's going to play out a while. Uh, uh, also, more than Colin Simmons, Josh, Alex January, defensive lineman's committed to Texas from Duncanville as well. So two of his teammates are. Is that the difference maker? Not necessarily. I think Texas winning football games, a uh, big play offense at wide receiver is very helpful. The key, the thing for Texas fans to know with DeCorian Moore's mom's from Austin, grandmother went to the University of Texas. They've had other family members go to Texas, still has a lot of family in Austin. Uh, there's going to be that continued draw to Austin and the University of Texas for the family. LSU is going to have to overcome that long term. Mm -hmm. All right. Another five star I want to talk to you about is Kobe Black. And first of all, is Kobe Black going to be in Austin this weekend? I would say it's a maybe uh, based on what we've heard Wednesday night. So a maybe, you know, I would say that's over 50 50 uh, shot. He's been dealing with a little injury. He's not 100%. He's really focused on his team right now. Texas is a big leader here. Um, look, I think there's a decent chance Colin Simmons is back in Austin Saturday. Um, so it will not surprise me if Kobe's there. We have not got 100% confirmation. Like I said, it was a maybe trending the likely. Yeah. Um, our colleague Sam Spiegelman had a great update with Kobe Black at On3. You guys need to go read that. But yeah. he basically alluded to the fact that he's not in a rush to decide. Do you think if he shows up in Austin this weekend that could change his timeline? Or do you think that he's just going to take his time no matter what? I think it has something to do with this season, his senior season right mm -hmm. now, his teammates, and just that the Connolly team. Um, I, I think he's a heavy lean to Texas. I don't think anything's changed that. Um, look, A&M's trying really hard to get him on uh, campus for the Alabama game. A&M's put a lot – and on the recruiting table for that uh, Alabama game, October 7th, same day Texas plays OU in Dallas. Yeah. Um, so that'll be two big recruiting games in the state of Texas. But I think it has more to do with his team than where he's at in the process. All right. So big visit weekend as Kansas comes to town. Is there anything else that you're watching as we head into the weekend? Yeah, you know what? I I don't think the visitors list is done. Um, I, I'll say that. I, I think there, <laughs> there, there could be a surprise or two uh, pop up Saturday, which I'm sure we'll be talking about Monday, Josh. <laughs> you know it. We'll be back. <laughs> you know, the live show is out here Monday. You guys have been great tuning into that. We'll go live at about noon Eastern, 11 Central, and Texas Big Visit Weekend is going to be talked about. Jerry Hamilton, thank you for dropping by today on the Inside Scoop. You got it, man. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed that content, be sure to subscribe to the On3 Recruits channel. We have a new page dedicated only to recruiting. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now.